You have heard the old phrase, you can always go home. That's even more fun when you can do it in a big way, such as the case for a Blink artist. For this week's Positively Cincinnati, he spoke with me about one of the people who inspired him on his path, an art teacher from Indian Hill High School. Right near Findlay Market. It's raw. At and on a building along Elm Street, a couple of artists are working to hit a big deadline. We're out here doing 12 hour shifts. Jonathan Lamb and his wife, Lindsay. To create in a city that means so much to him is just amazing. Are painting one of 16 brand new murals for Blink, the outdoor gallery, light and projection mapping show. That's what Blink is all about, is bringing people together to enjoy a shared moment of art. And Jonathan is particularly pleased to share his art with his hometown. He went to Indian Hill High School for a while and says an art teacher there, Mr. Walter. Look this, look at your color. Helped put him on his path. When he started teaching, he was pretty fresh out of college. He went to Miami University. Yeah. Uh, so it was relatable in age, I think. Yeah. But I always admired his paintings and looked up to him. Always good to hear. Why is being creative important? Well, um, I think in our current society, it's a more visual world than it's ever been. And you can see Jonathan being an active part of that more visual world and bringing it full circle makes Mr. Walter happy. If you see Jonathan, what are you going to say to him? Oh, it'd be fun to see him again, but you know, I'm proud of him and that this is exciting. It's awesome. I can't wait to see what he's come up with. Jonathan's piece is rooted in a high school memory and in Cincinnati's history. You might say the black, white and red and the big X are homages to institutions here. And look closely. It says Sin City, C-I-N-C-I-T-Y. Before Las Vegas, Northern Kentucky and Cincinnati had quite the reputation uh -huh. of gambling and pre-prohibition heavy drinking. So it seems the former student enjoys being a teacher now. How's my technique? You get a little drippy. Okay. <laughs> All the way down to schooling this reporter. Look, Mom, I'm painting a building. <laughs> Is that better? Yep. After the one-on-one, -on -one, Jonathan got back to the serious work of covering every brick, every grout line with, get this, 25 gallons of white paint, 100 cans of black, and 30 cans of red paint. Three coats of paint on everything. After all, this is his gift to Cincinnati. He wants it to stand the test of time. And this is going to live here. Yeah. Hopefully for a very long time. That's really cool. Yeah. We'll, we'll come back and touch it up. Yeah. We'll keep this thing looking sharp. You can bet on that. Make nine on your side. Your source for all things Blink will have a special on air from 7 to 8 on tomorrow night, live along the parade route. Then you can continue watching the parade wherever you stream WCPO. And special thanks to Jonathan for letting me put oh, my own little mark on were, that mural. You were like a kid up there. Can, oh. Am I doing it right? <laughs> know, That's something so I wish fun. I knew how to do. Uh, paint, draw, you know, whatever. Art is so fantastic. It, it, you know what? And it, it just makes you think. And mm -hmm. it makes everybody think a little differently. Yeah. And that's what's so profoundly fascinating And it always makes it. you feel really good. You yeah. Know? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Well.